Here we are on Friday night, Friday night praise and prayer, my favorite time here. I'm so excited to be able to be here with you guys and worship on Friday night praise and prayer. Remember, this is about experiencing the Holy Spirit River. You think of the blue Holy Spirit, the blue river, and then as we uh, worship the Lord, um, that we see the Holy Spirit come and the, God's presence comes on us. And then we're able to do intercessory prayer. So one of the things I ask of you is to get your prayer requests in, any praise requests. Let us know in the comments what you're thinking as you're experiencing God's presence. Uh, another thing I really ask is just put everything else away for the next hour and a half. Next 90 minutes of just focusing on Him, the creator of the universe. Yes. That's what we want to focus on here the next hour and a half. So just focus on him. Put everything else away. This is not the time to be listening and doing five other things. This is the time to say, okay, I'm going to watch this. I'm just going to listen. I'm going to sing and praise and pray. Uh, the last thing I have for you is that if you want to join us backstage here with all these cameras, you don't have to have your camera on, but you get to experience it in a total different close way. And we do this on Tuesdays. I mean, Mondays and Thursdays as well. <laughs> Monday, Thursday, Friday. Put this on your calendar. Friday, 6 p.m. CST and after the shows on Monday, Thursday. Join us backstage. Just go to blessedteach.com. Bless with a number two teach.com go to the backstage tab and you'll see how to join and really get involved in this ministry we'd love to have you but enjoy it welcome home here and uh, with that we're going to just start worshiping right now with kent henry thank you kent son of god hallelujah rick it's a good friday to you and to all the people in the stream tonight we're starting with a song called i will trust you uh and we can start praying because the computer either match restarting it or something but i want to say this rick we've been getting this word carla and i we did a, a friday stream about an hour and a half ago for our people and i said the lord is speaking are you prepared for this fall now it's both fall in september and october but for the fall i mean whatever happens and then he said secondarily are you ready for the new year so i'm telling everybody <clears throat> As we start tonight, just it's a prayer point in Jesus. Well, we'll see if the stream is going to keep going here. But it's a prayer point about are we prepared for what the Lord wants to do? And uh, I, I think, you know, seeing Julie Green and Amanda Grace and just uh, hang on just a minute and just a whole bunch of people, Rick, I feel like we're in a place where the Lord is going to intervene if we'll hear his voice, if we'll listen. Yeah. So. This song, this is song, uh, is called uh, I, "I Will Trust You." I will trust you, and all my hope is found in Your love. And I will trust you. My whole life is found in your love, and I will trust you. All my hope is found in your love, and I will trust you. And my whole life is found in your love. And check out the, the verse, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil things. In this life I've seen your faithfulness. And though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil things and in this life i have seen your faithfulness and in this life i have found your grace oh god 
Let's do it again and learn this. It's new, probably for most of the people here. Though I walk, and though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil things. And in this life I have seen your faithfulness. And in this life I have found, I've seen and found your grace, O oh God. I will trust you, yeah, and I will trust you. My, all my hope is found in your love, and I will trust you, Lord. And my whole life is found in your love, and I will trust you. My God, yeah, and my whole life is found in your love. It's wonderful, isn't it? Trusting in the Lord. We fix our eyes on Jesus, the author. We're gonna, when the coming storms and trials, we're gonna have to know how to trust Him and say, Father, we put our full trust in you. The second verse, though my eyes cannot see every single step. And though my eyes cannot see every single step. And my heart feels unsure again. I'll remember the strength of your love, oh God. I'll hold on to the peace you bring, yeah, yeah. Though my eyes, yeah, yeah, and though my eyes cannot see every single step, and my heart feels unsure again, I'll remember the strength of your love oh god i'll hold on to the peace you bring yeah, yeah. i will trust you Check this, you 
you guys. It persists through the night. In your goodness, kindness, faithfulness, and persists through the night. Bible, Rick, the AMPC, the classic version. And let's read this. I want to go back to the first verse because I feel like this word the Lord has been giving me and Carla. First of all, aren't you guys grateful? Julie Green, Amanda Grace, there's a number of prophetic voices now we're hearing. Just think if we were in the dark right now, totally. So I'm very grateful that there's stuff on the national scene that's happening. But then I kept hearing them say, the Lord, you got to caution my people, Ken. They've got to be prepared for what's going to fall in the fall and what's going to fall away in the new year. And he said, you've got to be able to trust me in the middle of the storm. So, Rick, you got Psalm 23. Here's Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd to feed, to guide, and to shield me. I shall not want. He lets me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still and quiet waters. He refreshes and restores my soul, my life. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the sunless valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod to protect and your staff to guide, yes. they comfort yes. and console me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. <laughs> you have anointed and refreshed my head with oil. Wow. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy 
and unfailing love shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell forever throughout all my days in the house and in the presence of the Lord. Mm, The word of God. Yeah, go back. Go go back up to verse 1. Put it up for a minute. Because when we see these, yeah, verse 1. The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want you feed me, you guide me, you shield me, Lord. Everybody, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want you feed me, you guide me, and you shield me. Come on now. The Lord is my shepherd. You feed me, you guide me, and you shield me. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want, cause you feed me. You guide me and you shield me. You lead me beside the still and quiet waters. You refresh and restore my life and soul. You lead me, you lead me beside the still and quiet waters. Woo! You refresh and you restore my life and my soul here we go guys the lord is my shepherd i shall not want because you feed me you guide me and you shield me yeah well the lord is my shepherd so powerful you feed me you guide me and you should come on sing it out tonight and the lord is my shepherd i shall not want because you feed me you guide me and you shield me lord and the lord is my shepherd The still and quiet waters. You refresh and restore my life and my soul. Yeah, you lead me beside the still and quiet waters. You refresh and restore my life and my soul. Yeah, you lead me beside the still and quiet waters. You refresh and restore my life and my soul. Yeah, you lead me beside the still and quiet waters. You refresh and restore my life and my soul. Oh, Lord, you're my shepherd. I shall not want. guide me and you shield me yeah. oh lord you're my shepherd <laughs> you feed me you guide me and you shield do it one more time yeah. oh lord you're my shepherd i shall not want you feed me you guide me and you shield me, yeah. Oh Lord, you're my shepherd. Oh my God, yeah, yeah. You feed me, you guide me, and you shield me. You lead me beside the still and quiet waters. You refresh and restore my life and my soul. You lead me beside the still and quiet waters. 
spot in the road I want two or three people just leave the scripture up I want you to pray now praying the word is important by the way rapid fire prayer is one thing but man when you pray out of the word it has its own raw horsepower because Isaiah 55 says it will not return void this right here that's happening right now wasn't even on my grid before I started I had the song though I walk but this is good so I'd like you know two or three people just unmute and pray your heart out of Psalm 23, somebody. Rebecca, do you mind starting us? <laughs> Heavenly Father, we just thank you tonight for, for letting us all gather together, for being able to do that in freedom and not worry about being arrested or having anything yes. harm us while we're gathered. You've fed us, you've provided for us, and we trust you, Lord, that you will do that as the days go by. Even when things don't look good, we know you yes. are our provider and that you'll lead us to the green pastures and beside the still waters. We praise your name and thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Woo, that's All powerful. Right. How about Gloria? <laughs> we just thank you. That as we walk through the shadow of the valley of death, Father, where we see so much destruction around us, Father, so much yeah. sorrow, so much grieving, so much hopelessness, Lord, we declare wow, yeah. we fear no evil, for you're with us, your rod, your wow. staff, with us. Yes. You have promised that you will never leave us, never forsake us. So we praise you for that. How about uh, Ruth? Yes, we thank you, Lord. It's only a shadow. That's oh. what Misty Edwards said at IHOP. Death is only a shadow. And you're right there walking with us through and I thank you for abundance I sense a lot of people are worried about provision and yes. you need to get it in your soul the Lord is my shepherd who feeds me and guides me <laughs> provides for me is a shield a wrap around shield around me and i I wow. bet he's going to make your enemy pay for your food <laughs> that is on your table. That's Psalm 23. He prepares the table before you in the presence of your enemies. Thank you, Lord. There is abundance. It's right there, and I thank you. And we declare abundance over people tonight, that they wouldn't have to worry. We call forth those multiplication miracles in people's homes over gas tanks and refrigerators and tables and children with diapers and toys all these things you're worried about it's there in the word abundance and we call it forth in jesus name we will not we don't have time for recession right now lord we're busy doing the work of the lord we don't have time for depression and we don't have time for whatever's going on in the stock market. If yes. it goes up or down, I'm still blessed because of your word. And we praise you, Lord, and we stand on it tonight in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. And, and, Amen. And sing it. I will trust you. Oh, my hope is found in your love and I will trust you and my whole life is found in your love and I will trust you we trust 
trust you, Lord, and all my hope is found in your love, and I will trust you, and my whole life is found. Now let's do that first verse again, thinking now in light of Psalm 23. As Gloria prayed and as Rick read it, your rod and your staff comfort me, they guide me. And though I walk, and though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil thing. And in this life I have seen your faithfulness And in this life I have found your grace, O oh God Sing it again, though I walk yeah, yeah, yeah. And though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death I will fear no evil things. Hey, and in this life I have seen your faithfulness. And in this life I have found your grace, oh God. You guys ready? Here we go. Come on, one more time, Lord, and I will trust you. Hey, hey, yeah. and all my hope is found in your love, and I will trust you. Yeah, and my whole life. Here we go to the bridge, your goodness. Your kindness, your faithfulness, and your goodness, your kindness, faithfulness persists through the night. And your goodness, your kindness, your faithfulness, it persists, it goes right through the night, Lord. We love that about you. I'm going to throw it back to Rick. What's in your heart, Rick, right now? What do you got? I mean, Father, thank you for your kindness and your faithfulness and your goodness. Thank you for giving us a shield. Thank you for just the love you have for us, Lord. Um, we can't wait to just worship you this next hour plus um, where we know your presence is here. Thank you for having your presence here. May any spirit of eagle be eliminated completely as we just worship you for one purpose only, and that is for your glory. And uh, Lord, we just uh, thank you so much for giving us this platform. Thank you for so much to the people on Facebook and YouTube and Clout Hub and the seven platforms that are streaming right now live. And we just pray for everyone that's listening to my voice right now, whether you're live or you're listening to the recording, that you will just give yourself to God during this time period. You will just lay and rest and get refreshed and get refreshed these as each each of these sides we worship again backstage mondays and thursdays and here on friday nights I mean, give us your prayer requests so right now so we can actually do intercessory prayer for you with god's presence here thank you lord for that we love you we say these things in the name of jesus
And we have a couple of sermonettes as well as a, a sermon. Can't you tell me when you think the best timing is for that? Um, let me do this next song and then we'll flow right into it because we're in the key of F. I know you knew that, Rick. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> nice going, kid. Appreciate it, bro. <laughs> but um, this is how I fight my battles. There's a table you have prepared for me in the present. Oh, again, segueing right out of 23. There's a table you prepare for me in the presence. In the presence of my enemies. And my weapons our praise and thanksgiving and this is how i fight my battle there's a table yeah. there's a table you prepared for me yeah. in the presence of my and it's your body lord it's your body your blood you shed for me and this is how i fight my battles Ooh. this is how i fight my battle oh yeah deep in our spirit i believe we'll end song of praise for what you've done I believe he's more than a conqueror and I be thee you've overcome and I will live my song of praise for what you've done and this is how I fight my battle and this is how I fight my battle. <laughs> this is how I fight my battle. This is how. This is how I fight my battle. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how. Sing it again. This is how I fight my battles, and this is how your presence, your presence, Lord. This is how I fight my, it's your presence, Jesus, yeah. And this is how I fight my battles, Woo! how I fight my battles. Let's go for the first sermonette, and either Vicky or Gus, let them see out of these lyrics who goes first. Let's be led by the Holy Spirit on Friday night. Vicky or Gus, isn't it right? Yep. Vicky's going. She did you unmute? There she Hi. goes. Hi. Can you hear me well? Yes. Other side of the world. Mixing it up. I love it. Yes. I just... How awesome. How awesome is our God. And how welcoming He is. I just want to welcome everyone who comes on, no matter what time frame they've gotten here. I just want to thank you because this is your divine appointment to be here, to hear these, to know how to soak, to release, to see something new on how to stand up, be strong, and to fight your battles. Father, we just I'd like to move over to Psalm 27. 
in his shelter. This, I believe, uh, my focus is in grade somewhere in the middle. In his shelter in the day of trouble, that's where you'll find me. For he hides me there in his holiness. He has smuggled me into wow. his secret place where I am kept safe and secure out of the reach of all of my enemies. And then into 28, we go, but may your name be blessed and built up for you have answered my passionate cry for mercy. You are my strength, my shield from every danger. When I fully trust in you, help is on the way. I jump for joy and I burst forth with ecstatic, passionate praise. I will sing songs of what you mean to me. You will be the inner strength of your people, the mighty protector of all, the saving strength for all your anointed oh my ones. God. Yeah. And then and then back to the end of 27. Here's what I have learned through it all. Don't give up. Oh. Don't be impatient. Be entwined as one with the Lord. Be brave and courageous and never lose hope. Yes, keep waiting for he will never disappoint you. People, we are going from glory to glory. You have to remember we have eternity. And we're going from learning step to learning step. And this is just the beginning. The Lord just told me th this has all just been practice. This has all just been in practice. We're into the program, pro games now. Okay? Wow. You don't play pro baseball by Pee Wee baseball rules. Okay? Vicky, so let, soak let me in say the that. Lord, learn and grow. Yes. Amen. You, you smuggle me into your secret play. You guys, you got to get this. I, I sing some really crazy stuff, but you smuggle me, you snuggle me into your secret place. You smuggle me. You snuggle me into your secret place, and you are my strength, oh Lord. You are my strength, oh Lord. You smuggle me, you snuggle me into your secret place. Yeah, well, you smuggle me, you snuggle me into your secret place, my God. You snuggle me. You smuggle me into your secret place. You smuggle me, you snuggle me into your secret place. You are my strength, O oh Lord. Come on, sing it. I know it's very childlike, but that's exactly what we need. Sometimes we need it simple and very childlike. The passion, right, Vicky? And you smuggle me. You snuggle me into your secret place. Will you smuggle me? You snuggle me into your secret place. You are my strength, O oh Lord. You are my strength, O oh Lord. You smuggle me. You snuggle me into your secret place. You'll be thinking about it tomorrow. You'll think about it. It seems, seems kind of foolish in a sense, but it's not. He's, he gets me. 
when the world's trying to knock me down and he smuggles me and then I'm snuggled by the Lord. There's not one human being that doesn't like that psychologically. Again, he said, will you smuggle me? You snuggle me into your secret place. Thanks, Lord. You smuggle me. You snuggle me into your secret place. Yeah. You are my strength, oh Lord. You are my strength, oh Lord. You are my strength, oh Lord. Yeah. I'm going to check back in with Rick. What's going on, Rick? What do you got in the Holy Spirit, bro? All right, and now we have people, a few people that want to pray. I wanted to see if Jolie is available. Uh, if Jolie is available, I'd love to have you just open up and pray your heart. Well, she's kind of a traveling as well, so she'll she'll open up in a bit. And so I just wanted to you have a prayer request here from Maria Padilla. And, uh, and, and, I, and I just, I know we have a bunch of prayer warriors. Uh, Ruth, would you mind picking that one up? Yes, oh Lord, we thank you for Maria and thank you for her love that she has for her brother. We call forth healing over her brother in the name of Jesus. We call yes. forth the blood of Jesus to flow over his body and through his body blood in his veins we call forth the blood of jesus to flow the healing virtue from heaven in jesus name and we we declare there will be no more side effects from the chemo the dialysis comfort and relief from pain and discomfort in the name of jesus lord comfort maria during the night season the night hours let her know that you're there with her and she can put all of her trust, all of her weight, she can throw all of her troubles and trials at your feet, that you hold her and you're carrying her through this season. We rebuke the spirit of fear and we call for the spirit of hope, joy and expectation over her in the name of Jesus. Let hope arise. We call for shalom health, healing, and wholeness over this family in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hey, Ruth, um, I know you have a heart for depression. Colin just said, please, hi, please, will you pray for me to get rid of depression, panic, attack, and anxiety? Do you mind continuing? Yes. Mm. Um, so in Philippians chapter 4, verse 6, I'm going to pray out of that chapter, Philippians 4. So, Lord, we thank you. In Philippians, you said, do, do not be pulled in different directions or worried about a thing. Be saturated in prayer throughout each day, offering your faith-filled requests before God with overflowing gratitude. Tell Him every detail of your life. Then God's wonderful peace yes. that transcends human understanding will guard your heart and mind through Christ Jesus. So, Lord, we call forth... Uh, your hand to be upon her head, um, in, on Deborah's head, in Jesus' name. We plead the blood of Jesus over um, Colin, I'm sorry, who is praying to get rid of depression, panic attacks, and anxiety. We plead the blood of Jesus. We call forth clarity. Holy Spirit, blow away the chaos, that he may have clarity and hear your voice and be comforted and to know uh, your voice above all the rest in Jesus mighty name we thank you Lord hey Pam I don't know if you wouldn't mind praying for Deborah Deborah saying this is the beginning of my weekend party all geared up for facing battles that may come so blessing on her uh, weekend party for Deborah Pam can you unmute it looks like it's still muted mm -hmm. That's okay. It looks like it's not unmuting for Pam. So, so I'll just lift this one up and say, uh, thank you. Lord, Lord, we just, uh, as we try to entertain different people, um, enemy tries to attack, we just pray that this will be a blessing for Deborah 
and you will be honored during this weekend party. Um, and Lord, we just uh, thank you for uh, everything that everybody that's uh, that's commenting now. Like I see flash core sky, um, agreeing with these prayers. Thank you for that. Um, um, also, see, he says, Lord bless each he or she flash core sky. Lord bless each one here with a special anointing in Jesus' name, amen. So we bless this party. We bless Flash. We bless Deborah, who's uh, gonna have this party. We bless Colin, who we just talked about. We bless everyone that's listening to my voice, even if it's a recording right now. Lift up your prayers to, to the God Almighty who's here now, even if you're listening to the recording, because he is answering prayers now. It's his presence is omniscient, omnipotent, it's omnipresent. He can be everywhere at the same time, every place at the same time. Lift up your prayers to him. And thank you, Lord, for the privilege of doing this. Say these things in the name of Jesus. Amen. I think that covers the prayers. Do you want to do another psalm before we move into the sermon? Yeah, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is called Beloved. I want everybody just to sit back and soak it in. The story behind this song, it's been a while since I've done it on this stream. My youngest, uh, or my oldest granddaughter, McKenna, uh, we were had a prayer room, and it was a 10.30 in the morning on Tuesday through noon, 90-minute prayer room set for teenagers, homeschoolers. And uh, she was 11 years old when she called me. She went to Jessica, my oldest daughter, and said, Mom, I want to play with Papa in the prayer room. <laughs> I said, wow. She goes, well, you better call him and talk to him. And McKenna is kind of shy and, and not that outgoing, but you know, I'm her grandfather. But so she called me and she goes, Papa. I said, what? McKenna or Ava? You have to distinguish between the, the two girls' voices. She goes, it's McKenna. And I want to play with you in the prayer room. I said, all right, little girl, let's get it on. Let's do it. But you got to learn 12 songs before we get in there. And she goes, well, what are they? I started listing them off, and she goes, I think I know six of those already. <laughs> so I said, okay, get the other six. Listen, bro, like in seven to nine days, she had the other ones nailed. And so she started playing with me at 11. Isn't that awesome? Kids are not ignorant. They can play at a high level. If you start them when they're like what are called tweeners, like the nine to 12 year olds, tweeners, you get them involved. And so, and she's never stopped. She's 18 now. She's still leading worship, adult services, the whole thing. But she called me one day and said, because I said, you have to resource your own songs. The whole team, it was eight or 10 teenagers. I said, you got to find your own songs. So she called me with this song called Beloved. I am my beloved's and he is mine. It's Sarah Reeves. And it was on a Monday. She goes, Papa, I found the greatest song called Beloved. So I want you to look it up on YouTube. I want you to chart it out and we'll do it tomorrow at the prayer room. I said, wow, you're not the boss of me. I said, well, maybe you are right now. <laughs> and so I said, let me take a look at it. I charted it. We did it and people, they wept, bro. So here it is, Beloved at the table. By an empty chair, you light the candle. In the feast you prepare for me. It's the feast you prepare for me. We sing each little verse twice at the table. And at the table, by an empty chair, you light the candle, Lord. In the feast you prepare for me, it's a feast you prepare for me. And it's there, my beloved Jesus waits for me. Yeah, in there, my beloved waits for me. It's there, my beloved waits for me. It's there, my beloved. You're waiting there for me. You wait for me, yeah. And it's there, my beloved. 
beloved waits for me. There my beloved waits for me. It's there my beloved waits for me. You wait for me. You wait for me. Now the second verse in the chambers of this secret place, you build an altar and you fall to your knees for me. And in the chambers of the secret place, you build an altar and you fall to your knees for me. What a picture, what a description. You fall on your knees for me. Again, in the chambers of your secret place. And in the chambers of the secret place, you build an altar and you fall to your knees for me. He ever lives to make intercession. Hebrews 7, 25. He ever lives to make intercession. Hebrews 7, 25. It's there, my beloved, praise. Are you ready for this? And in there, my beloved, praise for me. It's there, my beloved, praise for me. It's there, my beloved, praise for me. Praying for me, you're praying for me. It's there, my beloved. Praise for me, my beloved. You pray for me. It's there, my beloved. You pray for me. You pray for me. You pray for me. Is there? on the battlefield where the weapons are yeah and on the battlefield where the weapons were you wear your armor and with your shield you on the battlefield it's on the battlefield where the weapons were you wear your armor and with your shield you defend me you are my defender there my beloved fights for me there my beloved fights for me it's there my beloved fights for me you fight for me Jesus it's there my beloved fights for me it's there my beloved fights for me it's there my beloved fights for me you fight for me you fight for me wow it feels so good it's so good to know he said i'm fighting for you ever wow and then little sarah she had one little phrase left at the window of eternity your eyes are watching and she finished it with these words and you're singing over me Think it's Zephaniah 3, 17 or 19. He rejoices over us with singing. So at the window of eternity, 
and at the window of eternity your eyes are watching and you're seeing Lord you're singing over me hallelujah you're singing over me do it again at the window of eternity and at the window of eternity your eyes are watching and you're seeing It's there, my beloved sings over me. Yeah, it's there, my beloved sings over me. There, my beloved sings over me. It's there, my beloved sings over me. Oh, singing over me. Yeah, it's there, my beloved sings over me. There, my beloved. He's singing over us tonight, you guys. There, my beloved is singing over me. One more time. It's there, my beloved sings at the window of eternity. There, my beloved sings over me. That's how much he loves you. He has a song over your life. It's so powerful to know the Lord is singing over us. And it's there my beloved sings over me. There my beloved sings over me. It's there my... Wow, it's amazing. Rick, it's time for the sermon. And we'll do the sermonette toward the end. But what, what do you got to say on that, Rick? What a beautiful <laughs> song. Wow, I've been beloved. thinking that the... The, the God of all creation prays over us, sings over us. Yes. Wow. Just to think through that. Amazing. What, what a beautiful, beautiful song. And Lord, tonight we're, we just want to honor you with everything that we, that, that we uh, do here on this broadcast. And uh, we love you. And, and one thing that's important to you, I know, is your word of God. And uh, we've been reading through Genesis 1. And we went through the days one, two, three, and four. We're going to learn about day five and six here a little bit and apply it to today. God is the omniscient, omnipotent, omnipresent God who created everything. Remember, day the first time we went through day one, day two, we really focused on Jesus at creation. He was there. So was the Spirit. So was the Father, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The Trinitarian God has always existed. He wasn't created. Jesus was not created. He's always there. So was so was the Holy Spirit. So was God. Three persons, one God. We really focus on that. That's to have no other God before me. The second week we went into um, really what God is, is that he is this, this creator and that you need to understand that true God who, who created these heavens and the earth. We also showed a real cute little uh, day, song for you to understand what happened on each day. God, day one, day one, God made light when there was none. Day two, day two, God made heaven and sky of blue. Day three, day three, God made flowers and grass and trees. Day four, day four, God made sun and moon and stars galore. We focused on the, the glory of God, this omniscient, omnipotent, omnipresent God that made the sun and the moon and the stars. Remember, he's the creator of the universe, the multiverse, whatever you want to call it. He created everything that exists. There's all kinds of theologies out there that teach the wrong God. I think that's why God wanted us and put it on our hearts to teach from here. We're going to talk about days five and six here. God made birds and fish alive. Sixth day, sixth day, God made animals and man that day. We're going to focus on the image of God and how the image of God, I believe he wants us to take dominion over all parts of this earth, all seven mountains. We're going to be talking about that. Day seven, day seven, God just rested up in heaven. We know that. But let's dig into days five and six. And God said, let the water swarm with swarms of living creatures and let birds fly above the earth across the expanse of the heavens. 
So God created the great sea creatures and every living creature that moves and which the waters swarm according to their kinds and every winged bird according to its kind. And God saw that was good and blessed. And God blessed them saying, be fruitful and multiply and fill the waters in the seas Let the birds multiply in the earth. And there was evening and there was morning the fifth day. What's interesting about that is that according to their kinds, it's the way God made things. And we have Satan trying to mix kinds and create new types of creatures and the Nephilim and all these types of things that we hear about. And I believe that's the corruption that happened in the days of Noah. And I believe that's what they've done here. And all these satanic leaderships, etc., where they're corrupting the kinds when it comes to humans and mixing them with all kinds of things, including uh, satanic rituals of all sort. And, and so we need to be awake to that. But I believe this is the time, the biblical time, God's asking us to take dominion. And we're going to talk about that right now. We're getting to verse 24. It says, And God said, Let the earth bring forth creatures according to their kinds, livestock and creeping things, and beasts of the earth according to their kinds. And it was so. And God made the beasts of the earth according to their kinds, and the livestock according to their kinds, and everything that creeps on the ground according to its kind. And God said that it was good. He's made all these good things. He did it before Noah, had to destroy everything that was corrupted brought it back into goodness and then now we see the destruction where evil is called good and good is called evil we're in those times i believe verse 26 says then then god said let us make man in our image and this is interesting it says our here later it says his so it's clearly talking about the trinity in my opinion here because it's talking about the singular god we know only one god's existed isaiah 40 10 and 43 10 really hit that um, just realized my battery's almost out, so I need to do that real quick as I talk. <laughs> that would not be good if the battery ran out on the whole broadcast, so there we go. We are plugged back in. So now, that's a, the beauty of live broadcasts, huh? And so, so God, right. yeah, so, and so we know that, uh, so God created man in his own image. I just wanted to point that out. So he's talking about this. He's a singular God that's always existed, always will exist. But remember, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost is a Trinitarian God, right? So, does, so, so cults use this to say there's more than one God. There is not. God 43.10 wants you to know and believe and understand that no God was formed before him and no God was formed after him. So don't get confused there. It's very important after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the heavens over the livestock and all of the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps in the earth so god created his man in his own image in the image of god he created them male and female he created them so remember this image is there and satan's corrupting that image right now but i believe the people that do have the image the people who've been who've been restored and become a believer in christ has the holy spirit in them has the son of god in them they are the real image that here on earth the remnants probably you if you're listening to this and, and learning this and studying his word and god blessed them and god said to them be fruitful and multiply and all fill all the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the seas and over the birds of the heavens and over every living thing that moves on the earth dominion over everything and i believe that's the people that have the image and we've had this cabal that distorted the image taking over all seven of these mountains and i believe we're in the his point in the history of time the biblical times of the great exodus the biblical times that we've been talking about on mondays and thursdays so join our broadcast on mondays and thursdays where we talk about we're going through the book of exodus and how that applies to today and god said behold i have given you every plant yielding seed that is on the face of this earth and every tree with seed in its fruit you have shall have them for food and to every beast of the earth and every bird of the heavens and to everything that creeps on the earth everything that has the breath of life i have given you every green plant for food and it was so remember whatever god says it's so and god saw everything that had been made and behold it was very good and there was evening and there was morning the sixth day you know obviously we'll get into next week where we talked about that he just rested in heaven and then we get more detail in chapter two about exactly what that means so I want to focus a little bit. Why do I think that we are going to take dominion back over the earth? Why do some people during the days of Hitler and all that and everybody said, oh, it's the end of the times, the end of crisis here, the anti-crisis is Hitler, or there's some other bad thing going on in Russia with, 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 with Stalin, and this is the end of times, it's so evil. But many people say, no, Psalm 2 clearly shows. Isaiah 54, 4 clearly shows that we're to take dominion before the antichrist comes. 
And so if you just look at a few verses, we don't have time to go over it all, but let's just look at Psalm 2, this is. So this is Psalm 2, and look at the ESV. And we look at 8 9. Ask of me, and I will make the nations your heritage, and the ends of the earth your possession. You shall break them with a rod of iron and dash them into pieces like a potter's vessel. I believe this is talking about today, guys. We are going to basically make the nations your heritage based on God's power. Many people say, no, this is just talking about the Son who's already done this. No, He did this, yes, but the Son lives in us. That's what becoming a Christian is, where we have the Holy Spirit comes in us. Jesus is with us. We are to make the nations our heritage, the ends of earth our possession. Isaiah 54, and we, this obviously the most famous verse is that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. But we also have other parts here that are important, right? Look at, look at uh, when it talks about the verse 2, 54, 2. Enlarge the place of your tent and let the curtains of your inhabitants be stretched out. Do not hold back. Lengthen your cords and strengthen your stakes. For you will spread about to the right and left, for your offspring will possess the nations and will people the desolate cities. Guys, I believe we're in those times. Right now, God is, is now judging the cabal. They're going down. The fall of the cabal is called. We are now ready to take these mountains back. Take the mountain of education, the mountain of, 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 of art and entertainment, the mountain of business, the mountain of government, the mountain of family, the mountain of religion, all the mountains back which they have taken. And we are going to, we are going to possess the nations. We are going to enlarge our tents with God's power and authority of Jesus Christ. And that's why, why I think God has us back in Genesis and Exodus to get back to the basics here. He created us in His image. And it's been, been corrupted with all these satanic rituals and making creatures of different kinds and people in the dumbs and the punishment there. The evil that's there is going to be wiped out. The seven mountains of his leadership are going to be wiped out, and he wants us to take dominion. So what is he calling you to? I mean, each and every one of you are being called to something special right now. So let's take dominion back. Let's, let's have dominion over all the earth. Right now is the time to take back our country, take back your country, take back every country in this world, and take dominion over it as we see a mighty things happen. I love you guys so much. And each week we're going to be going over this. You can join us Mondays and Thursdays on the Blessed Teach Show for going through the book of Exodus and here on Friday nights where we're going over the book of Genesis. And may he use you in a mighty way for his kingdom. Each one of you. Listen to this. Listen to my voice even on the video. He's chosen you for such a time as this. We talked about that in Exodus. He is going to use you to take dominion back over this earth. The remnant. This is our time. Let's be bold, bold for the Lord God Almighty. Ken? Well, listen, it segues. Last night, I was going to do a song um, that was uh, from old school that's very powerful, and it's got lyrics that goes right with Genesis, believe it or not. I wasn't thinking it until you started doing it. But this is like a round. So I'm going to sing Let Us Adore, and you're going to do the echo. And we're gonna we're gonna have a choir here tonight. We're gonna have a Thanksgiving choir, a Toda choir. But uh, hear this song first. Let us adore the ever living God, the ever living, and render praise unto Him. Who spread out the heavens and established the earth and whose glory is revealed in the heavens above and whose greatness is manifest through
It's going to go like this. Let us adore, and you guys do the echo. Let's see if we, we can walk and chew gum at the same time. Come on now. Here we go. Let us adore. Let us adore the ever living God. The ever living God. And render pray. And render pray unto Him. Unto him who spreads out the heaven and establish the earth and establish the earth and whose glory is revealed in the heavens above. Well, and whose greatness now together is manifest is manifest throughout all the earth. You are my God. There is none else. I need to sing to y'all. You are my God. There is none else. Try, uh, go ahead and mute everybody, Rick, So, because uh, I think it's delayed. But we'll see if we can come back on. Let's try it again. This is a very powerful, right out of really what Rick was saying in Genesis. Let us adore, let us adore the ever-living God, the ever-living God, and render praise and render praise unto him unto him who spread out the heaven who spread out the heaven established the earth and whose glory and whose glory is revealed in the heavens above and whose greatness and whose great here together now is manifest throughout all the earth. You are my God. There is none. In Let's try it one more time, and then Gus will have his sermonette area, his little time right there. It's so good. Let us adore. Pretty sure somebody wrote this, and man, when you have a, a really like 30, 20, 30, 40 people in a choir, very cool. You can understand how it's, it's very, the echo, it's a round. Let us adore, let us adore the ever living God. And render praise, and render praise, well, unto Him, unto Him, who spread out the heavens, who spread out the heavens, and established the In the heaven, and whose greatness is manifest throughout all the earth, and you.
one more time. You are my God. There is none. Else. Well, you guys are champions. You gave it your best shot. With, with the delay from me to you guys, it's a little bit difficult. But he loved our heart on it. We get and seven so God, echoes. See? <laughs> seven, seven echoes I'm from different you, parts a, of the world <laughs> and it, I, I want to tell you what it did it confused demons and devils they didn't know what to do on that <laughs> we confused a really good we, we did atmospheric change either way man it sounded beautiful to me even though it was a little messed up musically <laughs> well Gus save us a little bit <laughs> what, right. what, are you, what are you sharing on bro well, I can find it now because it just dropped out of sight. Yeah. There it is. There it is. Thank you. No, it's not. No, it's not. There it is right here. Wow. Okay. It, it was shocking. Yeah. All right. Shalom, shalom, shalom. I'll try yes. to keep this under four minutes, folks. This message tonight is brought to you by the Holy Spirit. And, uh, <laughs> It's about endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. And because of the interest of time, I'm going to ask everyone if you'd like to go read 1 Corinthians chapter 12 to get the whole story. But in there, it discusses about the body of Christ, how we are all one with many members. We have different gifts that God himself issues all of us severally as he wills. And those gifts are wisdom, knowledge, faith, healing, miracles, prophecy, discerning of spirits, different kinds of tongues, and interpretation of tongues. Nine gifts, all divided out severally amongst us, severally as the Lord wills. But we are one body, many members, but one body also is Christ. By one spirit are we all baptized into one body. And that's the spirit of one is the unity of God. And if the foot shall say to the hand, because I am not the hand, am I not the body? Is he therefore not the body? And moving down to verse 17, if the whole body were an eye, where's the hearing? Wow. Right. Verse 18, but now has the God, now has God set the members, every one of them in the body as it pleased him. Verse 21, and the eye cannot say to the hand, I have no need of you. We all need each other. And I believe God has issued these gifts out to us so that we we need each other to assemble the manifold wisdom of God, operate. He made it so we need each other. And you move on down wow. to verse 29. He says, are all apostles, are all prophets, do all have gifts of miracles, do all speak in tongues? No, but he says, covet these gifts earnestly the, the best gifts and yet I will show you a more excellent way and as you move into verse uh, or chapter 13 1 Corinthians chapter 13 it moves right into the infamous love verses in the Bible uh, love is wow. the more excellent way I advise you to go read that chapter to learn what love is because we don't know what it is until God instructs us on God is love so going back to the gifts, please note that love is not one of the gifts of the Spirit. Love is a fruit of the Spirit that is developed through our connection to the Father through the vine, which is His Word. His Word is the vine. Jesus Christ is the vine. Remember, Jesus, who is His Word, is the vine, and we are the branch that's off of that vine. John 5.30 says that the, the vine himself, Jesus, said, I can of my own self do nothing. He needed the Father's wow. Spirit wow. speaking through him. Wow. The fruit on those branches is his fruit produced, produced by the Father's Holy Spirit flowing through his word. And then the Spirit in the word flowing through our branch to produce his wow. fruit. Thank you. Thank you, Lord emphasis uh, ephesians 4 says with all lowliness and meekness with long suffering forbearing one another in love endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace we are one body one spirit one lord one faith one baptism one god one father over all who is above all and through all and in all 
Romans 12, 4 tells us that we are, every one of us are members of one another in Christ's body. He's the head, we are the body on this earth. Like, like Rick was talking about, we're the body of Christ on this earth. And the government rests on his shoulders. Last time I checked, the shoulders are part of his body. Uh, Galatians 5.22, of course, is the, the gifts of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, and temperance, which there is no law. Uh, John 13.35 says, By this, I get this, by this will men know that you are my disciples. If you have a love one for another, notice he did not say, by this will men know you're my disciples, by your gifts, it's by your love will men know. So let's all digest these words into our heart as we move forward as one body with Jesus Christ as our head, edifying each other, helping one another, and let's give the enemy, let's not give the enemy any wedge to drive between us as we endeavor together to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. Thank you. Wow. Amen. Let's operate the gifts in the fruits of the Spirit. Shalom. Unity, Shalom. unity. Shalom. Love it, Gus. Wow. And Rick, like the bride, but we're not quite closing the stream out yet, but we're going to get this in here. Justice is coming. Everybody say it. Justice is coming. He will establish justice. Justice, justice is, is coming. coming. Oh, yeah. No doubt. It, the day of reckoning for every man. So check it out. Like the bride waiting for her groom, we'll be the church ready for you. Every heart longing for our King, we sing. Like the bride waiting. For her groom, we'll be the church ready for you. Every heart longing for our King. This is what we say. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. We ask you, come, Lord. Yeah, well, even so, come. Lord Jesus, sing it again, and even so come, Lord Jesus, come, yeah, even so come, Lord Jesus, come on, do that verse, and then I'll go to, let's do that chorus again, then I'll do the verse, like the bride, oh yeah. Like the bride waiting for her groom, we'll be the church ready for you. Every heart longing for our King, my God, we sing. Yeah, yeah. Like the bride waiting for her groom, we'll be the church ready. So come, Lord Jesus. This is the cry of our heart and our soul, yeah. Even so come, Lord Jesus. Okay, here we go, verse. So good. All of creation and all of creation and all of the earth make straight a highway the path for the Lord, yeah. Jesus is coming, he's coming soon, yeah. So call back the sinners, wake up the saints, and let every nation shout of your fame, yeah. Jesus is coming. Come on, do that again, all of creation. All of creation, 
and all of the earth will make straight the highway, the path for the Lord is out. Jesus is coming soon. Call back the sinners and call back the sinners and wake up the saints and let every nation shout of your fame Lord Jesus is coming soon like the bride yeah, like the bride waiting for her groom will be the church ready for the bride yeah, like the bride waiting for her. my God groom will be the church ready for you every heart longing for our king we you guys ready come on let me hear you even so come Lord Jesus this is our heart's cry, even so come, Lord Jesus, come, yeah, well, even so come, and Lord Jesus, oh, it's so good, it's so strong, it's so strong and powerful, come, Lord Jesus. Jesus, come. Rick, back to you. Whatever you want to say or pray, big man, Jesus is alive. Yeah, so I just Somebody like to invite. Somebody unmute and say hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. If any, hey, anybody that has not participated backstage yet, I'd like to just do a quick rapid fire prayer. Jolie, why don't you go start us out? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, I just thank you for today. I thank you for your beautiful spirit. I thank you for times of refreshing. Yes. I thank you, Father, that your spirit is alive. And just like my daughter, when I was taking her to my mom's this morning, we're, we're on the road and we're listening to the Bible. We're listening to 1 Corinthians 12. We're listening to 1 Corinthians 13. And Lord, you show when you put that on Rick on Gus's heart tonight, and he ah. shared that, you <laughs> proved yourself to my daughter that oh my you're God. so alive. Yes. And that your spirit is so close to us. We may not can see you, but we know you're here. And we Ooh. we know that you're right there with Gus. You're right there with Rick. You're right there with Kit, with Cecilia, with Pam, with Ruth. You're everywhere. How, do, how can we put that in words? Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you. You're everything that we need. And we need you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you for that praise about Esther, her daughter. We prayed for her last night as well. So join us on Backstage Mondays and Thursdays. Go to blessedteach.com. Bless with the number two teach.com. Hit the Backstage. Join this ministry. I think many of you are being called for that right now. Uh, Cecilia. Hi. You have to be real loud, Cecilia. Yes. As we're approaching Palm Sunday, um, wow. I just sense that the Spirit of the Lord would have us to talk to ourselves in preparation for this coming holiday. Wow. And I just... Um, I heard, I just remembered Jesus riding in on the donkey, yes. um, the, the most quote unquote ridiculous of, of all animals. And, um, yet that donkey was riding in a king wow. and I just heard my spirit, Hosanna, Hosanna, Jesus cried, Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. 
Hosanna in the highest. And that is a phrase that is used for the one who saves. So, Father, we thank you for sending your son, Jesus. We thank you as we enter into the season of his death and resurrection. We thank you for everything that you have given us through your son, thank Jesus. You. And we cry, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Bless you, the son who comes in your name. We bless you and we thank you, Jesus, for all you've done for us. We are indebted to you beyond anything we can comprehend. So bless you, Jesus. We bless you. Amen. Wow. All right, anybody? Wow. I, I know we have Lois and Rebecca or Pam. You guys want to do a rapid prior fair? Any of you? Just unmute and go. I'll say a prayer. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Father God. As we come before you, <clears throat> we ask for your presence. We are grateful for all you do for us each day. And we thank you, Lord, that we can trust you and count on you. Your word has told us how lovely are our feet as we roam through this world. How lovely is our heart and our soul and our spirit as we roam through this world. And as we roam through the world on the path of life, we ask for your guidance, Father, we use the gifts that you have given us, the nine gifts we are preparing to help the need of the hurting. We give them our love, we give our understanding and our prayers wherever they're needed. And we watch, Father, as you heal the sick and restore the health to those who cry out to you. Yes. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Help us. Help us to recognize need wherever we are as your spirit leads us on our journey. Our journey on this earth is so short and our time is so limited. So we ask, Father, for your guidance and your presence so that we stay on the path of life, this life that you have given us. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. Thank you so much, Lois. And I just want to see if uh, Rebecca or Pam want to say a quick prayer. I know Pam might not be able to un unmute. <laughs> I figured it out. I figured it out. All right, Pam. <laughs> awesome. Hey, Pam. Hey, Pam. <laughs> uh, thanks, God. I, I just love Gus's mini sermon and everything that we do. We need to do it in love because you are love. Help, to help us to discover what parts of the body we are. For the hands, help us to reach for the lost and bring them to you. For the feet, help us to march and find those who need you. We're in such a hurting world of people who just need to know you, Lord. Help us to find them and bring them to your life. Amen. Awesome. Thank you so much, Pam. I don't think Rebecca's here any longer. So, hey, well, hey, that's awesome. Guys, if you want to participate backstage, we do this Mondays and Thursdays too. Please join. That's how you're wow. joining the ministry of the, the B2T ministry. Also join us on The Neighborhood. We have a free platform, works just like Facebook without the liberal censorship. The progressive censorship's not there. Uh, this is where we're having groups and pages where people are, are going live. They got quizzes and polls. These groups are like prayer groups, Bible studies, courts of heaven, dream interpretations, awesome. all these type of things. We're all gathering in one place. That's where the Red Pill Christian Patriots are gathering is the B2T Neighborhood.com. It's free. Again, just like Facebook, but without all the censorship, go to, this is where the red-pilled right. Christian yes. Patriot, we call it the Christian Patriot platform. Again, B2TNeighborhood.com. <laughs> We'd love to see you there. Come and join us. There's a Google app as well as an Apple app you can download on your phone as well. You just search Blessed to Teach, or I, I, mean, I think I think that one's just B2T. We're also on Roku now, by the way, if you listen to the recordings. It'll be after the fact, but uh, it's not live, but you can hit the, like, the recordings on the Roku device. Just search Blessed to Teach, all with <laughs> no spaces, blessed with the number two teach. Again, the on the apps, you just search B2T Neighborhood, B2T Neighborhood. We love you guys so much. Welcome home here. We look so forward to worshiping with you every Friday night, and hopefully also <laughs> if you want to go deeper on Mondays and Thursdays backstage. Ken, anything else? Rick, we, everybody needs to be looking for the new CD, The Seven Echoes. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw it. Uh, way to go, Cecilia. <laughs> we'll see if it comes out in the next 60 days or so. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think that's going to be a big echoes. hit. <laughs> no, probably not. Okay. 
<laughs> we'll we'll stick with a uh, with with worship uh, worship with yeah Ethan. yeah let's do that <laughs> oh, we'll do that. <laughs> God bless you guys so much. So if everybody backstage would not mind unmuting and saying goodbye and have a great weekend, everybody. We love you. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Blessings to all. Blessings to all. Peace. Bless you all. God bless you all. And they love to Canada and Japan. And happy passing. Good to see you, Jelly. And Cecilia. Sending love all around the world. You guys are awesome. All right, with that, we're closing down. Love you tons. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.